Hello everyone and welcome to another MetaAds tutorial. Today we are going to learn how to create a custom report in MetaAds, how to create your own column setup. Before we go straight to the point, please like the video, subscribe to the channel. It helps tremendously to create new content, so thank you very much in advance. And let's get started. So you are going to come here to MetaAds Manager and you're going to click on Columns Performance here in this button. Once you click on this button, then you're going to scroll down and you're going to click on Customize Columns. So click on Customize Columns and you're going to land on this screen. Now, my first recommendation is to come here on the right hand side and remove the existing setup, remove all the existing columns so we can start from scratch. I'm going to communicate my recommendation on the ideal setup that you need to have. But of course, you can choose your own metrics depending on your situation and your business. The first set of metrics I'm going to add is going to be all the metrics that are relevant to results. So we are going to select results, cost per result, and result rate. And you see here that we use the search bar. It's a lot easier to search as opposed to actually find the metrics from the left hand side. The second set of metrics is going to be reads and also frequency. Then from here, we're going to add post saves and post shares. We are also going to add click through rate. And we're going to select click through rate all. What is the difference between these two metrics? Click through rate all includes all the actions, engagement, likes, video views. Click through rate, link click through rate. It includes only the click through rate when somebody clicks and goes external. So we're going to select the click through rate all. We're going to move it also above the post sales and post saves on the right hand side. Then we're going to select link clicks because it's a useful metric to have to see how many people go externally. And of course, we cannot have a report if we don't have amount spent. Now, this is my recommendation. I'm going to explain to you why in just a few seconds. The next thing we need to do is to scroll a little bit down. Here you see save as a column preset. So we're going to check this box and we're going to give a name to this column setup. So we're going to call it, let's say, report one, two, three, and we're going to apply. So now you see that our Meta Ads Manager actually is set up as per the columns that we selected. We have results, cost per result, result rate, reach, frequency, click through rate, post saves, post shares, link clicks, and amount spent. Why I recommend this setup? The first three metrics, results, cost per result, and result rate, are the most important metrics for your business. Everything is about results. Results for you may be sales, it may be leads, it may be people taking another action on the site, whatever it is, you always need to start with the business performance. So results, cost per result, and result rate, the three most important metrics in Meta Ads. From there, we have reach and frequency. Reach and frequency will help you to understand whether you are saturating your audience. A frequency that is going to be above three is a sign that you are slowly saturating your audience and you are serving ads multiple times to the same user. And it may be a sign that you either need to broaden your targeting or you need to refresh your creatives. And from there, we also have the qualitative performance. So click through rate, post saves and post shares are three quality metrics, qualitative metrics that help you to understand if your advertising message resonates with the user. In my experience, obviously the higher the click through rate, but most importantly, the more saves and the more shares you get, the better the performance overall for your entire campaign in terms of business metrics also. So there is a direct correlation most of the time between post saves and post shares with results. In my experience, again, when you see a campaign or an ad or an ad set generating a lot of saves and shares, this will also lead very soon to very good results, business results, whether this is a sale 
or whether this is a link. And lastly, obviously, we have link clicks, amount spent. We, ha we have to, to put it in here for our reference. This is just one column preset. This is my recommendation. It doesn't mean that it's going to be 100% applicable to your specific situation. If you are e-commerce, probably you need slightly different report. If you are B2B, probably you need slightly different report. But what you need to remember is to click here on the column. You scroll down. You go to customize columns, and once you are here, you can use the search bar or you can search for metrics in this screen. You can create your own column preset, and don't forget to scroll down and save this column preset. Where can you find this preset? So let's say, for example, I am going to land again on meta ads and I'm not going to see the, the columns. Very easily, click again on the same button. If you don't see the preset here, you're probably going to see it here under the recently used. Then what you need to do is you need to scroll a little bit further down and then either you will click so less and you will find it under this portion or here you will see an option basically to select more column presets and you will find your saved one that you just created. That's it. I hope you found value in this video. Have a great day in any time zone. And if you have questions, let me know in the comments. Thank you everyone for watching.